Okay, ready, go. Okay, ready, go. Go. Your setup position is too quiet. You have to move the body a little bit. So before you start the back swing, your body has to move. So uh, when you start from a completely stationary position here, then it's hard to have a really good dynamic motion. So then your back swing becomes slow. Yeah. So your lower body is quiet. And just to try to bring the club up. Now, your arms are turning quite a bit here. This is over rotation. The club, had, the club position is okay. But basically what's happening is you're turning your body and the arms are a lot and then go to that position. Instead, about this much, if you use the wrist card a bit more, then you can have a similar club position without turning the arms a lot. So girls tend to uh, turn uh, quite a bit, but no need to turn this much. And that this turn is quite slow. In the back swing, you're going flat here and then try to bring all the way here. So this gives you really slow back swing. And more than anything, you have to speed up your back swing. You have to make a lot faster back swing. And then also, instead of going flat here, and then try to bring everything up here, to directly go over where your target position is. Just almost to throw the club, arms and club and then go to this position instead of. Okay. So that, that way you can make it a bit faster. And on the way down, the reason why you have um, hit uh, the, the shot to the right is because, um, so with this uh, flat back swing and then go all the way up here, your first action in the down swing is a sliding this way make a room here, your right arm is coming down this way, so you have a stuck elbow problem. Yeah. So instead of letting the elbow going if, go in front of your body, pulling down. So in your swing action, it's almost like uh, you, what you, uh, your interest is, is the pulling it down, instead of letting the club head go. The goal in the swing is to throw the club head fast around and hit the ball. But in your action, as if uh, you are only interested in just pulling the arms down. <laughs> so the goal is to move the clever fast around. So your body shifts it this way quite a bit. You know to make a space here, but then your arm comes down. Then when the, when the hands come down this way here, naturally you have more outward swing plane. So if the club head travels that way, then usually when you have a good uh, square impact, then the ball will go to the right. So you have to have the image of, instead of bringing down here, turning around, letting the elbow come down in front of your body. Down the leg. Go. So this is the shaft line here, right? If you look at the clever motion, the clever goes even below the shaft line in the back swing. So the clever travels this way, your shaft is here. Your back swing is uh, quite flat at, at the beginning. And then bring up here. Then naturally what happens here is at this position, your right arm, so the back swing is flat here and then bring this up here. So your right arm is basically pointing backward. Okay. From this position, if you just pull it down, it comes this way. And then, uh, so instead of going this far too much, just uh, keep your arms in front of your chest here. From here, let the elbow go in front of your body instead of going this way. So with this position, the clavicle goes outward automatically. So you have to have the, the image of a turning this way and then bring the club head more toward the target or even pulling this way instead of drag and then throwing the depth. Once this happens, you cannot get out of that because at the beginning you just pulled it down. So we need to uh, uh, 
fix this um, stuck elbow problem. But ultimately, so this is the thing. Whenever you try to change something, you have to have a good image. Then you can move accordingly. But uh, if you don't have a good image, then you have trouble, right? So in the backswing, instead of going flat here, try to throw the hands and club using the speed here. Throw, then instead of go flat here, you just keep going laterally. And then with that, you are bringing the club here. Okay. Throw and then come to here instead of. Okay. And then on the way down, you have to let it go around your body instead of pulling it down. So keep that uh, imaging. When you hold this, you will keep a little bit of slope here. Try to move this board along the slope here. If you bring this flat, then the first action will be this one, not this one. Let it go this way. So maintain that plane. Swing, swing back and forth. Yeah, currently it's all your upper body only motion here. So I will help you. Yes. And then also, you know, when this is going this way, this is pretty heavy, right? So when the board is going this way, you know, to maintain good balance, then you need to lean slightly this way here to maintain good balance. Here. When this goes here, you know, that way you can engage your body more. Maintain good balance, swing, swing. So for that, you have to actually use the legs, push. Push, push. Go, go, go. Yeah, this is uh, with this you are moving, moving your body more, right? But your body is going first, and then the board is fun. This is the so-called uh, shun rhythm, shift to turn rhythm. Shift to first and then turn. In, a, in, in, in either way, in either direction, shift to first and then turn, shift and throw, shift and throw, shift and throw, shift and throw. Now, one thing you have to be careful is having a, a loop here. So just to make it go here and then shift it that way, uh, instead of, no, instead of uh, Try to turn this way, simply just to shift. Oh. And then throw. And then, so when it's here, make sure it doesn't go in and come down. Just bring it, throw here. And then shift it there, just to shift. Just, oh, no, you turn it. Just to shift, yeah, backward. Oh, okay. And then throw. Throw, throw. So, and then you are, so let me show you this. Currently, you do have this coming inward and then inward here. But what I'll do is I'll just try to throw this board both ways. Once it is thrown, you don't have to control this that much. But because you're holding it and you're trying to do this, then the body moves like this. But if you throw and wait, and then throw and wait, throw and wait, throw and wait. Just to throw. Try. So the goal here is to move this thing here consistently. So that the easiest way is just to throw it and wait and throw and wait, throw and wait, throw and wait, throw and wait. Yeah. And I try to ma maintain the same uh, swing plane both ways. And then one thing here now. So since your swing pattern is go up and then coming down this way, right? We need to fix that one. So particularly pay attention to this side. So instead of going in here, try to just keep going laterally. And rather this side come in this way. Go laterally and then come this way. Hmm. 
no, no. As, 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 as long as it turns slightly this way, it's hard to do that. So go here, rather turn this way slightly. Okay, go here. Yeah. Now it's, uh, it's more balanced, both ways. So you have the pipes on this side, originally. Now you think uh, you're just going lower and then going inward this way, but actually this is more balanced. Yes, this is what you need to uh, develop. Yes, yes. Okay, swing, swing, swing. And make the motion more consistent, stable. Currently it looks it's, uh, it's not that stable. You know, to make it stable, you have to use the legs. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, go ahead. Use the legs to control the whole thing. Okay, here. So this will visualize uh, the plane you need to move along. Okay. Use the legs to control the whole thing. Okay. So here, in the drawing action, in the drawing action, instead of just using the body like this, if you kick throw, kick throw, kick throw, kick throw, and kick throw, they have really the feel of throwing it. Then this motion becomes a lot more consistent and stable. Yeah. Throw both ways. Throw that way too. Throw, 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 throw. Yes, your goal is to move that board. Okay. Throw, throw, throw. So this is the the film. So in the back swing, you should not go this way here. Rather, you go this way. When you wear pants and with belt, then this is possible. Put this here through the... Through this. And then when you lead forward here, yeah. now, image a plane, swing plane here. The swing plane is when you lead forward, then the swing plane is where the ball is to your elbow here. This is the swing plane. Okay, so image the plane. If so, I'm here, then from board to here, the image, the swing plane is here. The, this stick is below the swing plane. But when you move to the right and left, try to move this stick parallel to the swing plane, the, the image of swing plane, going this way, this way. Now, without the, the belt, you have to just hold it here. In front of so you can do this properly. Put it in front of your pelvis here. Try to move the pelvis in such a way that the stick more moves parallel to the imaginary plane. So lean forward. Yeah, there. Mm -hmm. So here, coming this way, this way, this way. So this is how you how you move your lower body. Okay? Swing, swing, go, kick, kick the left, kick right, kick left, kick right. So as you go this way, using the right leg and then push the ground. By pushing the ground, if you bring this up, it's easier. Left side, kick the ground with the left leg, you go this way here, instead of turning this way too much. Go here, that again, right leg, push, left leg, push. Right leg push, left leg push, right leg push. So that way you can monitor, oh, this is going too flat on this side. Because you remember, when you bring the arm down here, your pelvis is turning early here, it's coming behind. So we have a tendency of turning the pelvis flat in this direction. Instead, both ways, this way, this way, yeah? Swing, swing, this. Move, move, move the pelvis to the right, left, right, left, right, left, right. This is the, the field here. 
Uh, now it's, a, it's a just a, too much uh, lateral here. You have to, you have to mix lateral motion and then turn here. Turn here. And this, 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 but not this one. Oh, it's too much. So here again, you have the imaginary plane here. So the motion should be parallel to my uh, palms here. So, yeah, more that way. Yes, yes, more that way. So that kind of motion. So you can eliminate the excessive uh, shift this way and bring the hand behind you. Again here, this is the plane. Yeah. So you always have to have this in the image, right? So when you, from now when you practice, you know, particularly when you are wearing your pants, then um, put that stick through the holes here and then practice motion like that. So what you have to avoid is turning the pelvis flat here, slide and then make the room here and then try to bring the hands down. Instead, from here, let the hands and elbow go in front of your body, turn this way. Turn this. Okay. All right. So uh, we use the. This is called the e bell, Ericsson bell, and then uh, the the stick.